Hi, okay, um, another video. This is going to be talking about, well, I'm going to be talking about the Terminator. Okay, but anyways, let me show a notification coming up on my phone. Hmm. But um, the movie The Terminator, and what I want to talk about that, The Terminator real quick, um, the 1984 movie, the first one, is when um, just about not listening to people, and I, I was I was watching uh, This Is How I Talk, so even if I like close my eyes, I'm trying to just like, you know, just trying to, Denitra. <laughs> it's okay you are time yeah I don't have to be going against myself I'm like oh I gotta got this time I got her time is in my name I am time so but I feel like I'm just trying to get it out but um okay so the movie Terminator with Sarah Connor well the character Sarah Connor the first one um is interesting I mean I've seen it plenty of times I'm quite sure a lot of people seen it too the main thing that I'm going to focus on real quick is um, about her telling, excuse me, is about her telling the officers, the detective, like, it's the guy that I'm with that y'all caught me in the car with, he is from the freaking future. Yes, it sounds weird, but he is from the future. And he is trying to protect me and save me because we got this big ass man, aka Arnold Schwarzenegger, coming after my ass. Okay, and this is the first Terminator. This is when, you know, this is before um John Connor was born, um, um, Eddie Furlong. This this isn't that movie. This is before. Okay. So, um, I'm like, that part, that what I want to emphasize on, nobody believes her. And you know where she ended up at? In the mental institution. I can't even say the word. In the mental into <laughs> In the mental in its two mental and in its what in the world? <laughs> She ended up in a mental ward. Okay, and Ward, a a mm, what is going on? I'm, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, Word, Word, Ward, W A R D. Okay, it's in my name, I A R D I, <laughs> but W A R D, make the M a W, and you get Ward. But anyway, she ended up, she ended up, what is going on? She ended up in that facility because she sounded weird and crazy. And that's the garbage truck and about to be coming closer. But, um, and nobody believes her, you know, and she's like, listen, this dude is trying to kill me you know and then the thing is she um they knew like people was probably trying to go after her because um her name sarah connor like was on the news a lot of the news media was picking up that a lot of women was being targeted who got the name sarah connor so then she was just like what so the police knew like okay somebody trying to get you but far as her saying who this person is like look this person is not even human you know that's the part that it was just like, no, 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 you're crazy. She was like, look, I seen it with my own eyes. Like, I was there. This is not a human being. He can do this. He can do that. And then a the guy, you know, car, like, he's, um, um, yeah, I think he got away. No, he was, no, he was still, the the guy who came from the future, ugh, who took that homeless man clothes. Every time I see that part, like, I, I gotta, like, not even see that part. Because I'm just like, ugh, he came down here naked. Yes, Eleanor. Like, he came down here, you know, naked from the future. And then he put on a homeless man clothes. I'm like, ugh, that homeless man probably butt stunk and everything. Not saying that all homeless people, you know, stink. I'm talking about the ones, you know, that was, like, out on it. Hey, my daughter is whining. The garbage truck is 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 coming. I can't push pause on this thing.
know how to edit any of this stuff but it's less than 10 minutes so um but what did i leave off at um something about ain't nobody didn't believe her so they put her in that place where they locked her up first and then you know they was doing tests and studies and she knew what she um what happened because obviously she got pregnant by the guy that's coming from the future um so and then the thing about that is when she was saying that she knew, well, basically her son, her son, and they knew how powerful her son was going to be, okay? So that's why she was targeted. Like, they knew how powerful her children, I'm going to put myself into this, they knew how powerful were a lot of people who know about me, who know about this whole hypno, hypnotize, hypnotosis this whole veil that's like lift that's like cover a lot man okay and um and i know about it too that's why i'm like it's divine timing that's why i'm giving people time to get it right themselves and the time is getting closer mind you time is in my name t-i-m-e is in my name so i'm like i'm <laughs> I'm here regardless. And ERA, E-R-A, ERA is in my name as well. So I'm like, I just got to realize, well, I realized that I just got to step back and watch the show. And watch the show. So now, and I'm talking about government officials, FBI, CIA, like the secret, secret, secret societies, okay? Like the Vatican, the Vatican hidden 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 like secret societies like everybody know all this information okay so i'm like i know it too excuse me <clears throat> excuse me so when that's why i always been watched since before i was born and why i after i gave them birth to my children the children that i have so far um they have been separated from well I ain't gonna say all of them are separated, but currently two of them, especially my youngest son, he has been separated from me and all of my children are special and unique. They have men coming from me out of my womb, what I prophesize over them, who they are. They are very special people and people have been, I'm talking about the government, the CIA, the FBI, Vatican, like everybody knows the truth, okay? That's why my children are separated from each other as well. You know, I have two of them here, but in general, they've been separated because it's like, why are y'all keeping my children away from each other and keeping them away from me, like over some lies? So y'all must know something that I ain't know like it did take me time to realize that but getting back to the Terminator they knew that John Connor her unborn child she didn't even know she was pregnant at the time but they knew they knew that she was going to be getting pregnant and then her son is going to be changing the world for the better so oh in order to prevent her son being born let's you know off her you know whatever and then we then everything is done but duh, he, he was born. So duh, my children are here. You know, they always want to be connected to me. 
but um getting back to the part where like the um yeah when she was like hey people you know all y'all in danger especially at the police station that scene oh and then in the next movie the guy who put her in the mental institution seeing it with his own eyes the terminator coming through the gate like the metal gate like his cigarette was like fell out of his mouth and he stayed alive he he didn't die and y'all know the reason why the terminator whoever kept him alive is because so he can go and tell people and be like oh my goodness i just seen this guy go through a freaking metal gate you know he was like aluminum and this and that and then people will look at him like is you crazy like have you been taking these pills that we've been giving these patients so that's why he's been kept alive, you know, to witness that for himself. And that's something else. A lot of y'all enemies or my enemies or people who put themselves to be my enemies, y'all know that y'all gonna that y'all gonna stay alive, quote unquote. Because y'all have to witness the rise. You know, y'all have to be the testimony, be like, Oh my goodness, I did treat her wrong. I did treat her wrong. I did do this. I did F it up, you know, around on her, you know, whatever, whatever. And it's like, yeah, y'all have to live up to that, you know. So, um, but yeah, so basically I think that was it. That's all I'm saying for this, because it's like thirteen minutes and uh, probably half of that I wasn't even up in the room for. But the thing is she was considered to be like in like an insane person because of the stuff that she was talking even though it was true and then when people started believing it you know when that dude came up in that police station and whatever whatever it was just like ah. Uh, and then you know she ain't even had to say i told you so but i'm like yeah i'm trying to give y'all some heads up i'm trying to make sure y'all stay alive not save y'all but i'm trying to make sure y'all you know get to the right places and, and and hide and whatever whatever because i know what's coming we're not really hide but hide is in my name h-i-d-e so who knows maybe hide or well, anything that is hidden will be coming to the light so that's hide